we believe in Santa Claus, but we're hoping to get a little scientific backup. This must be the place. Hey, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. So how do you think you can really prove this? I mean, do you think he's got research and statistics to back all of this? I you can't prove it. You're just a disbeliever. Yeah. Oh, hi. hi. You must be you Dr. Must Briggs. Be Mark and Mark. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Matt Briggs, assistant professor of statistics, Cornell University, and professor of Santa math. So, doctor, how does the man in the red suit do it? Dr. Briggs tells us that Santa doesn't go chimney to chimney like we thought. So let me show you the math of why he really can't do it. So we'll start off with uh, something simple. I hope there won't be a pop quiz at the end of this. There's about six billion people in the world. This is a six with a lot of zeros after it. That's a lot of zeros. But only about, oh, 10, 15 percent of kids in the world actually believe in Santa Claus, and we're only really interested only in Only 10 or 15 percent? Yeah, it's amazing. China is out, that? India's out. Our professor sums up the number of kids on Santa's list. Nice list. There is quite a few these days on the naughty list. So we can get this down further <laughs> to about 100. Really. That's a big assumption there, Doc. <laughs> so how fast would Santa have to fly to get to all those kids? And this turns out to be 740 miles per second. Wow, that's 100 times faster than a rocket. So if Santa tried this, he'd be quickly launched into outer space because Santa has to come down the chimney and doing so would create such a tremendous shockwave traveling at this speed that the entire house would be vaporized instantly. I didn't know Santa was so complicated. So you're saying you, you've proven that he can't do it physically, so how is he doing it? He uses the science of chaos theory and the mathematics of probability theory. That sounds like how we run our office. <laughs> Chaotically? Uh, maybe this will help as the analogy. People have heard about the butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil. And a storm two weeks later that was headed for Detroit hits Cleveland. And the same sort of thing is happening the way Santa Claus gets gifts out to everybody. Why didn't you think of that? So there's no uh, rhyme or reason for this chaotic theory? Yes, there is. I can show you. Please. Please. We need some sort of set of equations that move the gift from its point of origin to the kid's tree. Hmm. If I master this equation, would I never have to go shopping again in a mall? Yes, it could work for you. Excellent. Okay. This is the gift momentum equation uh -huh. right here. The gift momentum equation. This, this is a force, and this is due to Santa. This is a, his sort of mysterious force. That looks all Greek. So all of this taken together is a portion of the, of the math and the computer resources that Santa actually uses to cause all the presents to get to where they need to be by Christmas morning. So in other words, but Santa's going to be there for the kids. Exactly. And that's the important thing. So then there really is a Santa Claus. And he's gone high tech. <laughs> Phew, what a relief. Santa exists, and this math lesson is over. <laughs> nice meeting you. Thank you, Doctor. Good luck. Good luck. Come back if you want to hear about the Easter Bunny.